Hi folks and welcome back to the Broadband Studio Project here on ZDNet uh, in the DIY IT Broadband Studio Project. My name is David Gortz and I want to give you an update where we're at. You're looking at the newly created Webcast Studio uh, as part of my revamp and renovation of the Studio Project. So at this point the studio is set up and maximized for doing webcasts, which is a good part of how I make my living, uh, and is this is the audio only configuration, but a lot of work has been done. And so what I want to do next is I'm going to give you a walking tour of what's been done so far and what's changed. And then after this, I'm going to start working on the video side of the broadband studio. But I've now done two webcasts in here and it's worked perfectly. So this project is definitely making some progress. Okay, let's go handheld. So here we are handheld, and the most exciting thing for me to show you right now from my perspective is that all the clutter of the hardwired table is now out of the room. I have uh, equipment and gear storage in that wall area, and what that's allowed me to do, I'm gonna come around here, is free up this closet area over here for stuff that's in progress or out of the scene or whatever I'm working on. I've also gotten rid of the uh, backdrop that was running across here to the auto pole next to the green screen. That is now gone. And I have the full audio studio set up up and running. This is a very large and extensible microphone stand that will shoot out the microphone I think about nine feet. Over here is the first of two rolly monitor stands which can roll pretty much anywhere. And those neat little cup hooks on the corner are meant to hold microphones, but in my case, they're great for holding cables. And as we walk around where I was sitting before, and I bang my head against the, the lamp one more time because I'm not used to this yet, uh, this is the side where I actually am doing the recording. For those of you who have watched, this is the audio console and it contains both the mixer as well as down here the uh, interface and the Mac Mini. This little table, like everything else in the studio now, is reconfigurable. It's portable, it collapses, and can be moved out of the way. So when I want to do a video shoot without being encumbered by having some table in the middle of the space, I have it. And of course I have the one screen now. I can put a second screen if I want. I can move these things around. Everything can be moved. So there we are. This is the webcast configuration for the broadband studio. And when I get the video configuration set up or one of the video configurations set up, I will show you that. Once again, my name is David Gortz for DIY IT on ZDNet. Have yourself a great day. And if you wanna get more updates, click the button in the lower right corner and subscribe.